Hey folks, uh, this lesson is adding polynomial expressions. This should go pretty fast, you guys. It's a pretty easy one. Most of you guys have done this before, so don't forget all your lessons can be found right there at MrMathBlog.com. And this is an integrated math 2 lesson. And here's our question is how do we add polynomials? Okay, so um, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the commutative property and the associative property. So the commutative property, when I drive to work, you guys, I am commuting to work. I'm driving my truck to work. And so what these guys are doing is commuting around the addition sign. The A plus B is B plus A. It's called the commutative property, okay? Same with multiplication. A times B is the same as B times A. They are commuting around that multiplication sign, okay? Associative property, <clears throat> excuse me, is just um, uh, instead of associating these two numbers together first when you're adding, we associate the next two numbers together first, okay? So associative property is usually dealing with um, uh, grouping in parentheses. So instead of grouping the first two together, we group the second two. And same with multiplication. Instead of multiplying the first two together, we multiply the second two together first, and then we do um, uh, that one there. Okay. So um, uh, don't don't get too worried about that. So this is pretty easy. So we're going to add these polynomials vertically. Okay. So here we have 5x squared plus 2x uh, minus 1, and then and then 4x squared minus x plus 2. All right, it's, it, it's the same thing as what we did in the last one when we were simplifying polynomials, except it's this one plus this one. Now, when it says add vertically, we're just going to slide this guy down right below that guy, okay? So make sure that we um, align all the terms. Well, they all have the same terms in x squared and x and and then a constant right here. So then we just add the coefficients, okay? 5 plus 4 is 9, so there's 9 of these x squareds. 2 plus negative 1 is, is 1, so there's just 1x or just x, and then plus this 1 right there, okay? So when we just uh, do that, there we go. Easy, huh? Okay, let's try that with this one, okay? So we're going to go ahead and rewrite um, uh, vertically and align the term. So notice there's going to be some zeros in there, okay? This has a y squared, but this one doesn't have a y squared. So we inserted a 0y squared, so we have a place for that when we put the 1y squared in below, okay? And this one doesn't have a y cubed, but this one does, so that we put a 0y cubed here. And we also put a 0y because this one had a 2y. Okay, and then, uh, so this is when they say re, um, add these vertically. That's what they're asking you to do, okay? Um, and then just combine. So 3 plus 0 is 0. I'm sorry, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3, 3y cubed. And then we get plus 1y squared, or just y squared, plus 2y, and then those cancel, so that would be our answer right there. Okay, so there it is. Easy, huh? All right, and then uh, we're going to add using the horizontal method. Okay, so here, uh, all we do is regroup, um, uh, regroup the numbers uh, by the commutative property and associative property. Uh, we put all the x cubes together in one parenthesis, and those are our only like terms. I mean, there's a 2 here. There's an x and a y here, so so those don't get to group with anybody. So those guys, that's just part of the answer right there. And the only thing we can do is add this negative one plus a negative four, or or negative one minus four. In either case, we get negative five x cubed. Okay, and then plus that other action right there. Okay, easy. All right, let's try it with this guy here. Okay, so we're going to group the x squareds together, the 5x squared and the negative and the minus 4x, and then we'll group this uh, together, the 2x plus this negative 1x, and then this 1 plus uh, minus 2, or 1 minus 2. Okay, and then now we can just add the coefficients. 5 minus 4 is 1x squared, or just x squared, plus x, and then this becomes minus 1. Okay, easy. All right. Okay, one last thing. We'll just do an application problem, just um, uh, just so you know, just to get an application problem in, I guess. Okay, so anyways, sorry, tongue twister. A farmer must add the areas of two plots of land to determine the amount of seed to plant. So the area of plot A can be represented by this polynomial. The area of plot B can be represented by this one. So write a polynomial that represents the total area of both plots. Okay, we're just adding those guys. Okay, so when we add those guys, I'm going to combine the x squareds together, the x's and the constants together. Okay, and I color coded that. Okay, so the x squareds I did in red right here, and the x's we did in blues, and then the constants we did in purple right there. 
Okay, so of these red x squareds, there's eight of them. Of these blue x's, there's going to be three of them. So we have 8x squared plus 3x. And what's this? Minus 6 right there? Okay, so there would be the area right there. All right, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.